Hmm. You give him some parines, some antibiotics. Yeah, he'll be fine. Or maybe walking on your side. Right? And your sickness has nothing to do with your emotions. Maybe it's your stomach. But he looks at your sadness and immediately concludes that you're depressed. And he's like, Yes. Take him and uh, give him some antidepressants. Mm. He'll be fine. What's wrong here? <laughs> What's wrong? Well, the doctor is just prescribing medication without actually examining the patients. That's wrong. Because you will inevitably kill some of your patients. Because you haven't tested your, 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 your conclusions to find out what really they are suffering from. So, the reason I've mentioned this illustration is because today we'll be talking about troubleshooting, more specifically, a systematic approach to troubleshooting. And it's very much like the work of a doctor, a good doctor, in that, first off, the doctor has to ask you questions about your health. You come in, you are not feeling well, but even you don't know what's wrong. Maybe all you complain of is headache. But para can't just cure your problems. It may be deep-seated. So it's the doctor's job to ask open questions. When did it start? Is it just your head? How painful is it? Are you also coughing? Sneezing? Other questions, right? And then after that, what does the doctor do next? Now, the doctor jots these things all down. And it's like, hmm, it looks like malaria. But then, it also looks like typhoid. And I can't, I, I can't, oh wow, what is that? I can't eliminate the possibility that it's cholera. So, he tells the patient, go and run these tests for all these three different diseases, right? Maybe there are, there are different parasites. I don't know the details. But then you go to the lab, you run some tests, you come back to the doctor with the results, and now he has to devise an action plan. So he looks at it and realizes, oh, okay, this and this and this and that. Oh, okay. So he really needs this and this. He doesn't need para. Maybe he needs trisilicate and some amoxiclav and, and some other medication. And what happens next? He writes it down and gives it to you. You buy the medicine. And it's your job to take the medicine. And he tells you, come back later. That is like the do you implementing the solution you have been given. And the doctor verifying and testing the system. Don't worry, we'll get to those in a bit. So the doctor gives you a time to come back again. And when you come back again for another checkup, he realizes, oh, you're healthy, you're happy, you're fine. And he's satisfied. And he takes note of your symptoms. In case a patient comes in the next week complaining of similar problems. Maybe he can narrow down the testing this time. Instead of testing for about four or five different possible diseases and wasting your money. He could just say, okay, go and run these two or three tests. Of which maybe the one you suffered from is part. Right. Yeah. So let's get to the actual stuff troubleshooting now we have a scenario here right you are the systems administrator since we are talking about networks you are the network administrator their rules are very similar but there's a slight difference but then for the sake of clarity you are a network administrator but then people are complaining they say ah we can't access the mail and we can also access the internet some are having access others aren't having access and it's your job to solve the problem. That's what they pay you for. Step one, identify and define the problem. How do you do this? Ask open-ended questions instead of yes or no questions. Ask users to describe the symptoms of the problem. Right? When you click, what happens? When did it start? Uh, are you the only one experiencing this? When was the last time you used it? Did you do this with your account? 
did you did you do this did you do that there will be a lot of you know questions right but they have to be open ended mm -hmm. so example the problem is the email and internet example question is this the first time you are trying to access your email or browse the internet were you able to access your email or browse the internet earlier what changes if any did you make just before you noticed the problem open-ended questions that way you get to gauge what the problem really could be second step identify the apparent cause of the problem right this steps involves a lot of brainstorming to determine the possible reasons of the problem then you list the possible causes of the problem to, and, and try and evaluate them to find the exact cause so here the net network administrator has noted about four possible causes of the problem the email not working in some of the in the internet to not working for some of the users he says either the internet is not working or there's a, they are incorrect proxy settings or a network cable is unplugged or the network interface card is not working for some for those users right so now looking at the symptoms after asking the questions he has derived from them what the possible causes for those problems could be and he has them noted down and so from this you move to the third step which is to test if the problem identified is the actual problem so the network administrator can now perform the tests by checking various settings like the proxy settings the network cable the internet connection and later he can eliminate the courses that are unlikely based on the option settings defined correctly what this means is that now from looking at the courses you realize that oh, okay yeah this one the cable is fine so it's unlikely that it's a problem with the cabling or mm, nothing is unplugged so it's unlikely that any of the cables are unplugged the router is functioning perfectly right it's inside that people are able to connect to the internet it's unlikely the problem is with the router or maybe even the proxy settings so it's like mm, okay so what could the problem be maybe it's left with one at this point and so he moves on to define an action plan to solve the problem that's the four and the action plan consists consists of steps that need to be performed to solve the identified problem so he has narrowed it down to one now how will he fix it let's see now he has narrowed it down to perhaps incorrect proxy settings how will he fix it what is his action plan right or maybe is the network interface card regardless according to this beautiful book i have here i love this book it's so comprehensive right i do have to add a little anyway let me just read it ask each user who reports the problem to log on to a different computer and try to access the email there if the attempt is successful then there is a problem with the network interface card or proxy settings of the user's own workstation right mm -hmm. so you have the person it, try to log in from a different machine and then you realize okay if that is working out then that means the problem is from his machine you are able to narrow it down even more or you could ask a couple of users to log on to the mail server to access their email on a computer where the original user faced logon problems and if other users are able to successfully access their email, then that means that computer is not the problem. That means the fault is with the mail account of the user who reported the error. There are others. There are others. But then once you are done with this, it, and now you have an action plan. Say, oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I see. So maybe mm, it's the network interface card. I can see that. After checking the proxy settings it's okay you need to change the network interface card what do you do you implement a solution right and what this means is that i mean it's plain english i can't i can't, <laughs> I can't garnish it enough you implement your solution the next step is to verify and test 
the system now after implementing did it work you need to find that out the people had that, that had the problems let them you know try to log in again or try to access the internet again and are they successful if they are then you are successful right let me read a little bit here it says during verification the administrator connects with the end user to confirm if the problem is solved this step also involves monitoring the system to ensure that the problem does not reoccur. It's just like the doctor, okay, come back after two weeks, and you come back and it's like, oh, maybe the medicine did not work. And the doctor is like, really? So he has to run more tests. He has to go back to the whole testing phase, ask you more questions, and start the process of troubleshooting what could be wrong with you all over again. But if you come back and like, oh, it worked, I'm healthy, I'm fine, and I'm grateful, it's like, oh, then it was a success. Then he, he takes notes. He documents the whole thing. That's why you have medical files right mm -hmm. excellent and so that's the verification and testing of the system so in the scenario where they had the email and then the internet problems they assumed that the problem was pertaining to uh, okay according to the book it's a faulty network cable but that's the easiest problem right because what do you do you replace the network cable a brand new one is always better and you are, you are done then you you know i let the users who had the problem to try again are they able to access the internet if they say yes mission accomplished the last thing to note is not for the users but for you the network administrator in this scenario or in real life or the aspiring network administrator regardless it's for you and that is to create documentation for future reference just write it down in detail what happened what the symptoms so to speak were the cause the action plan the solution so that next time you you don't have to go through the whole hassle if someone complains of the same problem you can still troubleshoot but once you get to maybe the a point where you have narrowed down the the suspects right you can you can deduce that oh no this is the network interface card problem just like the one before though it's not advisable to jump to such conclusions it's, it's, it's rather advised to go through every single step even if you already suspect that this could be the problem just be systematic about the whole thing but then it's also likely that you could save time and even save the company a lot of money if you were faster with this so if you are able to document in such crucial moments, you will be able to deliver quality with speed. And so that's it for troubleshooting. Yeah. And I'm really happy. I hope you are happy. I mean, we are learning, Charlie. We are learning. Small, small. Mm, we will touch on so many other topics in the near future. I'm saying we. No views. Oh. But. I'm actually, I'm not worried at all. I'm not worried. So yeah, that's it. It's Tech Lessons with Alvin. I'll see you later.